Let's talk to David Paul. He is the Managing Director of Vector Vest UK. Very good morning to you, morning, young David. Uh, living the dream. Right, yeah. seven slides to run through. Uh, without further ado, let's kick off the first one, the VV UK Composite Index. Um, this is all about market timing. Um, are we on a buy signal at the moment? Oh, yes. Uh, the um, longer-term trend of the London market, uh, as measured by the Composite, which is a, uh, a composite of all the 2,200 shares that we follow, um, uh, that turned up on the 9th of January. Uh, as we go into the trading day today, the long-term trend is up. The short-term trend uh, is up as well. So all is good. We've got uh, three green lights on the front of VectorVest. Uh, and a uh, uh, fairly similar situation in the U.S. as well. Okay, uh, so let's have a look at that second slide. Uh, the, the U.S. market uh, has... Uh, m the short-term trend is up. The longer-term trend is up. Uh, the line study in the uh, window below the price is in fact the VectorVest proprietary buy sell ratio. Uh, every day we put a, a buy, hold or a sell rating to every share in the marketplace and uh, this is a wonderful measure uh, of the breadth of the advance and a great measure of sentiment and uh, if you remember just before Christmas uh, there was, a, there was four times more companies on a sell recommendation than on a buy recommendation. And six weeks later, that's completely turned in its head where there's over four times more companies on a buy than a sell. So we've gone from slash your wrists just before Christmas to exuberance in the middle of February. Right. Uh, so, well, it's uh, worth saying that the S&P 500 had its worst December since 1931. And the Dow, since Christmas or December, has rallied something in the order of like 3,700 points yeah. the last time I looked at it, which yeah. is um, one extreme to the other, right? It always happens when you least expect it, that's for sure. Or, or, uh, if you stay in the present moment and you focus on what uh, the front page of VectorVest tells you, it keeps you in total tune with the market. And uh, there's no doubt the market's got challenges at the moment because the Dow and the S&P are sitting at a 78% retracement of the big range down October, November, December. And certainly that will attract uh, any bearish people uh, to take short positions at that level. Uh, the bulls are saying that there's a brute of a head and shoulders reversal um, uh, on the uh, uh, American markets and that if that plays out uh, that can take us up uh, to a new high which is well in excess of the uh, October high. So a uh, very very important week or 10 days I think uh, where uh, the market will decide what it's going to do. At VectorVest we remain bullish, we remain uh, confident that we're in a late stage bull market and our market climate model uh, indicates that. Understood. In terms of earnings, okay. interest rates and inflation. Well, let's move on to how to pick winners. Um, what is this? Well, uh, every day VectorVest uh, puts a value uh, to every share uh, uh, on the London stock market. Uh, and we favour shares that are trading obviously below their valuation. Uh, it puts a number uh, to the price appreciation potential, which we call relative value. And it puts a number to the earnings safety. So every day uh, we classify the fundamental position of all the shares in the London stock market uh, by uh, value, uh, price appreciation potential and safety of earnings and of course we put a number to the trend. And uh, out of that uh, I've picked uh, four shares uh, with good solid fundamentals uh, that are trending uh, upwards. And uh, the first one uh, is JD Sports. And, uh, JD Sports has been in an upward direction now since the 9th of January and it's at a very interesting juncture now most because it's pulled uh, sideways in what technicians would refer to as a flag pattern and uh, yesterday it broke north of that flag pattern and I think that that stands a high probability of moving up towards our valuation which is the thick green line above the price. Okay. As so you can see earnings per share growing strongly yep. driving the share price so uh, the, th the three things that are going for the share is one, the fundamental position of the share looks excellent, uh, two, the technical position of the share, the trend looks excellent, and three, the overall market is rising. So I can tick all three boxes. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen next, but there's a high probability that that's going to keep moving. Understood. Let's move on to the next slide, Ashtag Group. Well, Ashtag Group uh, is in the throes of a strong trend. Uh, it's uh, undervalued. 
Uh, it pulled back with the overall market in November, uh, October, November, December, and is now pushing up the page strongly. Uh, if uh, old Zach were here, he'd be getting excited by that uh, reverse divergence on the weekly MACD, which is a, a very strong signal that there's going to be some more trend. Uh, so, uh, again, fundamentals look good, uh, earnings per share rising strongly, technical position looks excellent, and the general market is rising. So, and a good. high probability so like that. of success. Okay, let's move on to John Lang in the next slide. Well, John Lang, uh, a very interesting share because you can see earnings per share uh, rising, but ramped up in the middle of that period. And uh, at the, as that earnings per share rose, we revalued the share, which is the green line above the price. And, and now the share uh, is significantly undervalued yeah. by our model. It's broken up through a 52-week high and is trending up the page. Very importantly, in the uh, sell of October, November, December, that share stayed flat. And that relative strength is always a, a strong uh, indicator that there's more to come. So uh, that share looks as if it wants to go places. OK, let's wrap up now with the last one, Eland Oil and Gas. Well, Eland Oil and Gas, uh, again, uh, on that uh, fairly long-term view, growing earnings very strongly indeed, uh, and uh, uh, it's undervalued. And uh, for the technicians watching, we've got this brut of a cup and handle pattern, uh, and uh, uh, we seem to have broken out of uh, the uh, little flag, uh, which is in fact the handle of the cup, and uh, that share moving up the page quite strongly. I'd be very surprised uh, if we don't see a nice move up in Eland Oil and Gas. Uh, my target on crude is a move from here till about $66. If that, right, plays, so out, the bull. If that plays out, then I think Eland Oil and Gas. I'm actually holding uh, uh, three uh, oil shares at the moment. Uh, Eland, I'm looking at Gulf Keystone Petroleum, and I'm also holding Serica personally. And I'm also uh, got my toe on the water on a little share called PPC that I like the look of. Uh, so uh, a little bit overweight in oil shares based on that prognosis of, of the um, uh, of, of crude. But that's a particularly attractive chart in Eland Oil and Gas. Understood. On that note, we've run out of time. David, Most, thank you. Thank you.